Good morning. Why did the Roman soldiers torture Jesus? We're in Mark 15, verses 16 to 20 today. Then the soldiers led him away into the hall called Praetorium, and they called together the whole garrison. And they clothed him with purple, and they twisted a crown of thorns and put it on his head, and began to salute him, Hail, King of the Jews! Then they struck him on the head with a reed and spat on him, and bowing the knee they worshipped him. And when they had mocked him, they took the purple off him, put his own clothes on him, and led him out to crucify him. They tortured Jesus because they didn't know who he was or what he offered. I mean, yes, they'd heard that he, had, he was claimed to be the Son of God. They'd heard that, but they didn't really personally know him. What they knew is that they were stationed in this far distant part of the empire with this Jewish people that they, many of them I don't think liked too well. It was basically not the best place to be. It was the backwaters of the Roman Empire. So here these guys felt like they're stuck in the armpit of Rome and guarding these Jews that are pretty hard to deal with. It's very different from the Romans. And so a lot of the soldiers resented being there. And so now here comes Jesus. They claim he's the son of God. And now he's going to be condemned and sent up to be crucified. <clears throat> What's the reaction of the soldiers? They're pretty unhappy with most of the Jewish people. And so here's this guy that they can sort of pile on. They can kind of think of him as kind of being, you know, representing all the Jews. So that's kind of what they do here. They're going to pile on and pile on. And they're combined frustration and inhumanity. I mean, these, these are trained killers. These, these are not angels. These are pretty rough people. And so they pile on to Jesus, and they just treat him like dirt. So here's Jesus. They can take out their bad attitude on him, and they, they do. And they just identify him as in one, in one more of these ridiculous Jewish people, in, again, in their eyes. And so there's, there's something interesting here for us, too, because... How many times will we be misidentified with other beliefs, other Christian beliefs or beliefs that are quasi or pseudo-Christian beliefs? People might think that uh, mistake us for some strange group or maybe just what they have been told Christianity is. And so with that perspective, uh, you and I, we need to differentiate our beliefs. We need to make clear that we're different from your run-of-the-mill, not very converted person. And so we need to live that out so that that's much more easily seen. But we will sometimes be like Jesus is treated here. He was totally different from what these soldiers thought he was, but they're treating him like dirt. Sometimes we'll be treated in a rough way uh, as people identify us with a picture of Christianity that, that, would, make, that would be repulsive to us. It would make us feel sick, uh, but they'll treat us that way because they think that's us. The challenge for us is to be sufficiently able to understand the world so that we can interact with people in the world, and yet sufficiently not of the world that it's clear that we have something that they don't have, something, that's, something that they very much desire to have. And so there's a bit of a, the, the challenge for us. It wouldn't be inappropriate. It wouldn't be unexpected for us to suffer in some respect because our master, Jesus, suffered. So there's a bit of a, a situation for us to, if we're able, to transcend, but sometimes we just won't be able. Sometimes we won't have that chance and we'll just be mistreated. And we need to still love these people, just as Jesus loved these people who were striking him and spitting on him and, and taking him out to murder him. And he loved him anyway. He loved him to the end. So we need his love in us so that we can do the same. When the day comes, when people treat us, that way as they treated our master. Let's pray together. Dear Father in heaven, thank you for Jesus, his poise under torture and abuse, and yet we don't read, we don't find in the Bible that at the end he just threw up his hands and walked out of here and said, fine, you guys are a bunch of rats. Uh, go ahead and get what you deserve. Didn't, didn't work out that way. So help us, Lord, so that we will also have that kind of love in us. In Jesus' name we pray. Make sure you have your space apart from the world, but that you can still love the world. God be with you.